Polymer chemistry is much closer to end users than many other branches of science. And the idea is to take our fundamental work and take it all the way to the end user. So we try to make a difference. My name's Andrew Whitaker. I'm a polymer physical chemist. I'm a senior group leader. I'm also deputy director, research of the AIBM. We have two main programs of work. One is in polymers for energy and polymers for health. The most important questions in society across disciplines. So our team will consist of me, I'm a polymer physical chemist, biologists, synthetic chemists who are experts in making polymers. So in Polymers for Energy, we, we work with some of the major uh, corporations uh, in the world, such as IBM, to make polymers for manufacture of integrated circuits, so computer chips. So we make polymers which uh, respond to light that allows a pattern to be transferred to a computer chip. And that pattern ultimately becomes transistors, gates, and the circuits on a computer chip. And our technology has contributed to the design of, of modern computer chips. Currently, there's great concern in the community about a particular class of, of pollutant called PFAS. These molecules were used extensively in many industrial processes, but in particular in firefighting foam. Our team has developed a new type of polymer, which is able to remove very efficiently from aqueous streams, from water, these PFAS molecules. So we're also working in polymers for environmental remediation. So our larger program of work is in polymers for health. And we call this program bringing materials to life. Our biggest area of application is in MRI agents. MRI is a very powerful medical imaging technology. There is, however, concern about toxicity of some of the MRI contrast agents. So we decided to build a, a new program of work on what we call fluorine MRI agents. It's led to uh, many advances and we're regarded as the world leaders in this area now.